Check out the sweet tweet from this week from the Kevin Butler. Bacon pro tip. Instead of frying them a strip at a time, go double stack. The top piece fries on top of a layer of bacon. You're welcome. Click clack, president, uh-huh. Nostra Al, DPs, Orange Al, RBGs, T-Town, who wanna ride? Brooklyn. Come on, come on. Sitting in the living room on the floor. Hunger pain got me on some migraine shit, but I'ma maintain it. Salutations, Hastings Nation. Welcome to Webhead. I'm Nathan Miller. Today we look at Twitter. Our daily generator will be Wordle. The news source is HC Media Online. Our bookmarking site is delicious. Let's get to that social site. Twitter is a social site today, and I'm here to give you a little breakdown. Twitter is a social networking site that is made entirely of 140 character blurbs about whatever, like our sweet tweet at the top of the show. Twitter is a challenge to every user that is a part of the network because it makes you put big ideas into small packages, and I know a thing or two about that. On Twitter, you can be crazy like Charlie Sheen, smooth like Shaq, funny like Daniel Tosh, or you can try to be funny like Chelsea Handler. Let me break down the homepage for you. Up here, you see the menu bar. This is going to be permanently at the top of the page whenever you're on the site. If you click on home, of course it will take you to your home page and profile will take you to your profile. The messages link will take you to your message center. And messages on Twitter are a lot like email, but like tweets, Twitter messages can only be up to 140 characters. The who to follow button shows other people that are similar to you or that you might like to follow. Back to the home page. Over here you can see your followers. Followers are are people who basically subscribe to your tweets, so every time you tweet, it shows up on their homepage, and the same goes for people, groups, or organizations that you follow. Twitter is very easy to search. You just type whatever you're looking for up here in the search bar, and Twitter will pull up the people that are relevant to your search or tweets that mention your search. Twitter's been going on for five years now and adds about 500,000 new accounts each day. Stay tuned because right after the break, we're going to check out the Daily Generator. What's up, HC? Welcome back to Webhead. I'm Nathan Miller, and it's time to check out our Daily Generator. Today, we're going to look at Wordle. If you've never had any experience with word clouds, you need to check this generator out. Wordle was created by IBM programmer Jonathan Feinberg. He was actually allowed by IBM to create the code on company time. There is some math that goes into the creation of each word cloud along with some JavaScript and jQuery. But Feinberg credits a friend for essentially coming up with the idea of throwing stuff on the screen until it fits. Wordle is a toy for generating word clouds from text that you provide. The clouds give greater prominence to words that appear more frequently in the source text. So if John Madden made a Wordle for his commentary, Brett Favre would probably be the biggest word. You can tweak your clouds with different fonts, layouts, and color schemes. The images you create with Wordle are yours to use however you like. You can print them out, keep or save them to your hard drive for personal use, or let them float in the Wordle gallery to share with your friends. So we know who made Wordle and what it does, but how does a person use Wordle? We're going to create a webhead word cloud just to show you how easy it is. From the home page, you can click on the Create Navigation link or the create link in the middle of the page. Once you're on the new page, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is fill out the form with however many words that you want or that you can think of and hit go. After you click go, the generator does its work and throws your words onto the page in a random fashion creating a word cloud. That's pretty neat. The word cloud will be in a color set, but there are some ways which you can customize the look of your cloud. In the top left corner, you can change the font, color, language, and layout. Once you are satisfied with the design of your cloud, then you can choose to print it or to save it to the gallery. If you want to save it to your computer, all you have to do is take a screenshot and then crop the image in an editor. That does it for the daily generator. Let's move on to today's news source. The news source today is the Hastings College student-run news site, hcmediaonline.org. This is a great site for, and a great resource for the happenings on the HC campus. This site relies on all forms of media from students in broadcast, in print, and new media. HC Media Online usually has a feature on the homepage that is highlighted by a graphic. 
like the one we see now. And it takes up most of the page. The navigation options are set up the same way newspaper sections are. We have our news, our sports, our opinion, our video, and our KFKX podcasts. At the bottom of the page, below the feature graphic, you'll find a category boxes with a link and blurb to the featured video, opinion, and another news story. Let's click on the news tab and give it a look. The page is set up like an RSS feed with a graphic that links to a top story at the top of the page. Under the graphic is a list roll of other stories. Let's click on one to preview a story. Each story page has with it a photo gallery and the option to share the story on whatever network you want. On the right side you can comment on the story via Facebook right from the story page. The sports page is set up the same way. But when you check out the opinion page, you'll notice that each writer has an opinion box that is about the same size as the preview boxes on the home page that includes a short blurb about the article. Now on to the video page. The page is set up to show the selected video. By selecting a video on the link roll below, the video that is already showing, you can watch a different one. On the right side, next to the video, you have the option to share it anywhere online, and underneath that, you'll find the video information. HC Media now has a YouTube channel and you can find them on YouTube if you search for HC Media Online 1. To finish up the news source we can check out the audio from KFKX. If you click on the KFKX podcast tab it will take you directly to the iTunes preview page on KFKX. If you're a Hastings College student you're probably pretty familiar with iTunes and this makes it a great way to get your, your news and your KFKX material right from there. On there you can download a radio show or the latest newscast or just listen to the content on the page. Be sure to check out hcmediaonline.org for all of your campus news. It's a great way to keep up with news that's important to students because it's news produced by students. Keep it here because right after the break we'll take a quick look at a cool bookmarking site. This is Webhead. Hey, welcome back to Webhead. You're just in time to check out today's bookmarking site. The web is a huge place with all sorts of different cool stuff online. That's the great thing about the web, but at the same time, it's the horrible thing about the web. There's so much on there that it's hard to keep track of just what you like. There's a solution for this. Bookmarking sites help you organize and share all of the cool and interesting stuff that you find online, school appropriate or not. Delicious is a social bookmarking service which helps you save all your bookmarks online, share them with other people, and see what other people are bookmarking. It can also show you the most popular bookmarks being saved right now across many areas of interest. In addition, Delicious has search and tagging tools that help you keep track of your entire bookmark collection and find tasty new bookmarks from people just like you. It's free to create an account and the network is huge. That's all for bookmarks. Now while you're sitting there watching online or on TV, you should consider following these people on Twitter. One of them is comedian Daniel Tosh. Now many of his tweets I can't even say on the air, and that should be incentive enough to follow him on Twitter. Another one is the fake Tom Osborne. As the name suggests, it's obviously not the real Tom Osborne, but he, but he tweets as if it were, or how he would react to certain situations. And another is HC Media Online. This is a great way to stay up to date and have access to current campus news. Also make sure you follow Webhead on Twitter. You can suggest other people or organizations to follow and give us more websites to review. Until next time, I'm Nathan Miller. Adios, Hastings Nation. You know how we do. Uh, oh. They telling me to take the safe route. This is the detour. Hoodie, baby, you ain't seen a kid like this before.